tell you about this piece of music I just composed for a birthday gift for from a wife to a husband and kind of give you an idea of how I put it together, how I transform numbers, or I kind of use the numbers as inspiration to make a really deeply personal piece of music that can be enjoyed for years and years to come. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing. And so this is for a birthday present for a 60th birthday. And so the first thing I do is I put the numbers down on, on a piece of paper. The numbers meaning 60, 60th birthday. Then I put the birth date, actually. So we have 4-29-1962. 4-29-1962. And then I also had the, the dates for their wedding, which was 7-15-2014. Now, how do I take that and make that into something that's personal for them? Well, I ask for musical influences, and uh, one of them was Tears for Fears. Uh, I also, they asked them to submit photographs and videos of them over the years from their family and the time they spent together on vacation, and things like that, art. So I get an idea of like, maybe I could draw in some influences. So first thing I thought was, well, maybe I'll make this kind of mariachi sounding with a bit of a Mexican mariachi flavor. So even though, I'm saying mariachi, it's still gonna be my own personal kind of take on it. I don't, I'm not a mariachi player, but um, I use that as a musical reference. So then what I do is I take the numbers, and in this case, I just start playing around with them. So if I, if I look at his birth date, and I just play the notes, it's, it sounds like this. It actually, and the key of A. So, so numbers, again, if you, if you take uh, the key of A, and you, and you, A major is one, and you go up the scale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it starts over A. So, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If I just play those, the numbers of the birthday, so four would be, and then 29. Now nine is the same as two in music, so I do it twice. That's 29, one, and then back to nine, which is two. And then six would be F sharp, and then back to two. So just so let's now hear that theme at the top of the piece that spells out the birth date in numbers with musical tones. So just that makes a really nice me melodic sort of motif. But it by itself, you know, it's, it's what could you do with that? What could you put in there harmonically? So I came up with this progression it's kind of interesting. So the harmony below it's changing, but the notes on the top stay the same. So just messing around, I came up with this idea. And then, da, da, da. And when it, I came to that, I was like, hmm, maybe it needs to resolve somewhere. So it kind of felt like it was going to the B. Feels like the B is kind of the home. This is the B. And then I decided to restate that theme again, but with a slightly different harmony this time. So, and then G. Now, um, Tears for Fears has this melody that goes like this. Some of you know it, right? So I thought, I'm gonna bring that back at some point, but not play it exactly right on, but just sort of hint at it. So when I start on this G, so it's what we call playing this melody over that is called a Lydian mode, so, which is a raised fourth. So one, two, three, four. So I don't play it right at the beginning, but later on I bring it back. So a number of things are happening during that last section. Not only do you hear the Tears for Fears quote, but it's based on chords which are rooted in the numbers for the marriage of the couple. And what I mean by that is the actual harmonies in the section are based on the couple's wedding date numbers. So it has a real distinct change. We're in A major and I go to the flat seven, which is G major and that helps set up that Lydian sounding quality for the Tears for Fears. A little thing to note there. G chord becomes a pivotal number for the, for the marriage. So it's kind of like 
you hear this G and it kind of departs from the song harmonically and you can really tell that, okay, now we're in the wedding numbers. So uh, basically, and then that's the intro, so I kind of state the theme which is built from the birthday numbers at the way beginning as an intro. And then we go into kind of a, a waltz mariachi feel. And then for the first chords, I just basically do one six, so that I'm emphasizing the six. This chord, that's the six chord over the A. So it's sort of a 60, 60 birthday at the top for that waltz. progression for the rest of the piece is based on the birthday. So we start on a one and then I go to the four which is the four and the birthday. That's, that chord right there is the four chord so if you if you build chords on top of the tones you get chords. So if I am an A, one, two, three, four, that's D. That's the D. So then we have the D and then I've got the two chord which is B minor. So the rest of the chords are based on the birthday and the wedding. So if you listen through, you'll hear, if you're really interested, everything is built upon these numbers, the mariachi music from Mexico, because they took trips to Mexico. And it's it, there's a melody on top that doesn't have anything to do with the numbers, but it's something mariachi-like. Uh, another thing you can notice is I restate the melody right at the end of the first section. You'll hear. So there's little hints here and here, and great uh, composers of the past have done this. Brahms, you name it. They've made themes out of names. They've made themes out of numbers. It's a fun thing to do. And so let's hear the piece now. And by the way, if you want something like this for a loved one, if you want me to write a piece of music built from the DNA of music that you enjoy and the numbers of your birthday, something that's really personal, I love doing this. And you can reach me at willatwilltaylor.com or 512 589 eight seven four nine if you would like me to do this for you and a loved one i love doing it reach out to me all right let's hear the piece shall we